Welcome to Old Orchard Beach in Maine, and our first stop is super touristy. We're going to the theme park on the beach. I will say this is a first. I've never been to a theme park on a beach. This is also our first time to start a video at night. Oh, and we have special guests. We have friends here. They're our friends that we met in Terralingua, Texas six months ago and 2,000 miles ago, and they just so happen to be in the same RV park that we're in this week, and they're gonna be in the same RV park that we're in next week. Yes, so you guys will see Molly, the little girl, Casey, the husband, and Kristen in just a little bit. That's the wife. They were one month into their full-time living journey when we met them, and we're gonna go hang out with them. So far this place is awesome. This is just like Venice Beach. It's an amusement park on the beach with a pier. This is gonna be awesome. The first victim <laughs> of our trip is Kristen. No, I'm not getting sick. Are you going? Yeah, I'm going. You're going on this? Yeah. Are you afraid? I'm whip. <laughs> Are you afraid? No, I'm not. What do y'all think? Is she gonna be a woo girl? I know Alicia would be a woo girl. I bet Kristen's a woo girl. What do y'all think? In the comments, let me know. Is Kristen about to be a woo girl? Is your wife a woo girl? Oh, God. We're oh about yeah. To, we're about to find out. <laughs> She's mom now, so I don't know if she should be doing this. Are you? Is she a woo girl? I bet she is. Most girls on rides are. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on that ride was wooing. Was that, was that you? you? Was, was that you wooing? <laughs> Somebody on that ride was wooing. I was. Oh, it was I, her. I was, we got our beach bodies. Beach bodies, it is. <laughs> we didn't even have to work out. <laughs> Are you excited? I love amusement parks. I especially love amusement parks with my kids. I love it more because they get to enjoy it too and it's fun seeing how happy they are riding these rides. and I was laughing a whole lot because <laughs> I thought we were done and then no, it reversed and went the other way. That's too much. <laughs> Meet Mr. Pickle. <laughs> New member of the family. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with a giant Mario? <laughs> we're not going to go in an RV. I haven't thought that through yet. They're trying to win this Mario that's the size of their toy hauler. Hey, who's who's drawing the short straw and whose RV is not going to go in? Because I'm not taking it. <laughs> Dang it, Casey. <laughs> I was thinking when you said, where's that going? I was like, in their house. <laughs> we already have two huge unicorns. We can't take that too. <laughs> later still yeah, working yeah. on the string <laughs> no no i turned the camera off no <laughs> you have a giant mario <laughs> i thought you had a money that's why i turned it off <laughs> i told you it was gonna happen i just didn't say who <laughs> i turned the camera off and the next time she got it hey it's me mario <laughs> When y'all walked up with this, I thought this was too big for the RV. <laughs>
means this lobster better be the best lobster we've ever had. Time to redeem ourselves from the infamous lobster rolls. I'm going straight lobster. Are you? I'm not even, I'm done with the rolls. I want the real thing. <laughs> I'm undecided because we got to try lobster rolls in Maine. So tonight might be the night. I mean, we're right on the ocean. They got to be fresh. <laughs> first main lobster roll I'm not gonna lie it feels like a very expensive hot dog <laughs> please don't be mean to us in the comments it's just not our favorite thing it's not I mean it's all right but like you said before in the other video just get a lobster yeah if I'm gonna spend forty dollars on a lobster with a bun why not just get a lobster for forty dollars a hot dog bun yeah. <laughs> not even a hamburger they're, bun. they're called new england style buns <laughs> the buns are the most awesome part i think today's lobster roll was different though we had like no sal like it wasn't a lobster salad but it was still cold right yep and our last one was hot it was i think i definitely prefer the hot one over with the butter over the cold one that didn't have all the mayonnaise and all that stuff in it but i don't know that i'll order another one no, no, we're going to Bar Harbor soon. So we're going to have to get one more, give it the old college try. Make sure we're not getting all the worst lobster rolls in this state. Third time's a charm. Yeah, yeah, third time's a charm. Like, it can't get much better than Bar Harbor. Come on, Maine. I hope you're not lying to us. I hope the hype was not just hype, because I really want to enjoy a lobster roll. But if, I, if it happens one more time, I'm just getting a lobster. I wonder if people from the north say the same thing when we say like go order a ribeye in texas yeah and they're like what's the big hype it's yeah. just a big chunk of meat like who cares let us know if you're from the north and you've had a ribeye was it overrated or was it as good as your lobster rolls <laughs> <laughs> all right we made it back to the truck and the only question is what are they gonna do with mario mario where are you gonna ride you gonna ride right there in the front seat Hey, winning that Mario was a real good idea now, wasn't it? Hey! Look at him! Look at him! He takes up the whole front seat! Mario! See you in Bar Harbor! Bye, Mario! We all know that the mattresses that come in the RVs are horrible from the factory. One of the best things we ever did was upgrade our stock mattress to an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We went to Signature Hybrid and it is the greatest thing we ever did. We sleep so amazing in our RV. You might be asking yourself, what is an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding? Well, let me tell you. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus, they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the United States. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When we were searching for a mattress, we wanted a really comfortable bed that would work out for our RV. Our master bedroom has an RV king and Brooklyn bedding had us covered. And when it came time to upgrade the girls room here in the toy hauler and convert it from the Happy Jack bed system to a double queen size bed, going with Brooklyn bedding was a no brainer. We went with the Dream Foam Essential Memory Foam in the eight inch model. And we did that because not only does it provide the girls two queen size beds to sleep on, it works when the Happy Jack bed system is stored in the stowed position for tow days. Changing mattresses might be a big deal. That's why Brooklyn Bedding offers a 120 night sleep trial and they back it up with a 10 year warranty. RV Mattress delivers your mattress to your door for free anywhere in the United States. Plus it comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. The best part about this is Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. That means they're able to use premium products at a reasonable price with no middleman to bring up the cost. And we're not the only one who loves this brand. RVmattress.com's Dream Foam Essential Memory Foam Mattress just won Good Housekeeping Magazine's 2023 Family Travel Award. We love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and we think you would too. If you're in the market for a new bed, head over to RVmattress.com. You can check the link in the description below or go to RVmattress.com forward slash Paving New Paths to get 25% off your new mattress with the code Paving New Paths. Thank you to RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding for their continued support of this channel. On top of getting a great night's sleep, a lot of times we just rest here at the RV park like this one right here where i'm about to give you a whooping don't think so this place has an awesome putt putt course and the last time we had one that had an awesome place was washington dc and after 10 days of playing we ended with a tie a tie after so many games that never happens he always whoops me so i'm coming for you today all right everyone look at where it's about to go down this is where you're getting beat 
not happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although at five dollars a person per game, I might let you take a win because <laughs> I'm not going to go for a rematch. While we get started, you guys check out this RV park we're staying at. This is Sun Outdoor Retreats in Old Orchard Beach. There's the main entrance. That's where you check in when you get here. That's also where you rent all the stuff for all the amenities here. There's also an arcade and a general store. They even have a trolley service here to go to downtown Old Orchard Beach. This is the pickleball court and obviously these kids are misusing it because they're having a Nerf battle. Put on by the employees of Sun Outdoors. It's the employees versus the kids right now. This is one of the Monique playgrounds here. We'll call this one playground number one. They have a jumbo jumper. Looks like they might need two. <laughs> and they have volleyball courts which they're playing soccer on right now. Behind me, they've got a pavilion and one night a week, they do live music there. Over here, we've got horseshoes. Might have to beat you in that later. Really? <laughs> horseshoes? We've never played horses in our life and all of a sudden you're gonna be the one that beats me at hey, it? Hey, I was good at cornhole. Maybe that's my game. Hole five update. We just lost every single ball in that hole right there. They're somehow stuck in the little tube. Alicia found a magic eraser. In half the two, but I can't reach the other half. So we had to go get new balls. And on the score, we are all square. Tie ball game still. Oh. Even with losing four balls in that mysterious hole right there. He forgot the most important update. I got a hole in one already. Welcome to playground number two. And our favorite, mostly because our RV is right there and the playground is right here. So we can sit in front of the fire while the kids play on the playground. So this is our RV site and you can see we're pretty packed in here. Our RV is not really made for this site, but we got in here. If you saw the video when we got here, you knew that we had trouble fitting in. And that's mostly because the quarters are tight here. So we have all that trying to block us. We have the cars there. It's a very small campground, but I would say we do fit because we do fit barely, but it's not a bad sight. Up until today, because the 4th of July crowd is coming in, we've had this wide open and we could see the kids playing on the playground right over there. Not a bad place, 50 amp, full hookup, water sewer. I would definitely come back, but I wouldn't choose this side. So over here they have shuffleboard and over there is the world famous bocce ball and it's right here next to the main attraction which is the pool area but not just one pool they have one pool here two pools over there and they have three hot tubs here one for adults one for teenagers and one for kids we've actually spent about four days in this area they have an arcade here Right next to the arcade is the store. You can buy all kinds of RV supplies, as well as groceries and adult beverages right here on site. They sell ice, firewood, and propane at the store, and you can rent golf carts here. Hole nine update. I'm up by three. I'm about to be down by a whole lot. You see what's going on here? <laughs> so Kevin and I take turns. He goes first on one hole, then I go first on the next hole. I have to use what he does to help me play better. I'm up first on this hard hole. This isn't gonna be good. <laughs> Lead me the way. What is that? This is our handy dandy map. Could it be any bigger? It's huge, but it needs to be huge because there's a whole lot going on here. All right, so uh, I guess we start with the key. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently right here in the activities area. Yes. What else is there here? So there's a lot of things I've never seen at an RV park. So I'll point those out first. They have a BMX track. Which is number five. They also weirdly have a cemetery. Number eight. Where's number, number seven? Eight? Number seven. seven. Right here. They have a cemetery. And it's like surrounded by sites. So we're going to have to go check that out because <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that's here. Fishing ponds. That's the fishing pond. Also, they have zip lines that go over the pond. They also have something that we've never seen at RV park. What's that? A ropes course. Oh yeah, I for gosh, how did I forget about that? So yeah, they have a ropes course and zip lining. This is the coolest part of this RV park. They have an adventure park, which is basically like a ropes course in the trees. Look at this thing. It's $30 per person each time you do it. And you have, there's like a weight limit and an age restriction. So just beware. 
our kids weren't old enough to do it. They were tall enough to do it and heavy enough, but not old enough. This whole thing is the map of the entire place. And when we called in, I found it strange that she said we don't have very many sites available. And that's because we're in the Northeast. Almost all of this is seasonal sites. So there's only a handful of sites that are available for rent. Almost all of these are seasonal sites and RVs that stay here full time. Something else we should point out is over here, number four, they have beach access parking and it's like super close walk to get onto Old Orchard Beach. So I think that's awesome. Six blocks walk, but it is closer than driving there. This is the beach parking. So you go right out that gate, walk six blocks and you'll be at the beach or the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, if you were in those sites over there, that would be awesome to just be able to walk right over. So. I know it looks like the Atlantic Ocean is right here in the park, <laughs> but really it's more like over here. <laughs> Even on this big map, it's kind of <laughs> far away. Uh, they also have these, so you can scan it to check out their activities and events or if you want to brush up on the rules and regulations they have that for you so i think that's pretty handy you know what time it is it's update time 15 holes in what's the score i'm still losing <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what the score is i'm winning by seven <laughs> i think I'm about to have to throw the white flag and we're going to have to start over. <laughs> oh, I thought you said we weren't playing multiple games. This is how right. it happens. We start with like, let's just play one. And then tonight at nine o'clock when they close, we're on game like 18 and we're still tied. <laughs> oh, this isn't going good. I keep calling mulligans. I'm like, can I use another mulligan? Here is pool, I guess, number three. There it is right there. And another hot tub. This pool is actually heated. The ones up front, only one is heated and one is cool. That right there, that's pool number four, and it's way back here in the back, and it is not heated either. They have so many activities here, like the kids and Alicia's favorite. They have ice cream right now. <laughs> and it was only a buck a person. It's so awesome. Speaking of money, how much do we pay to stay here? We paid $111.76 a night <gasps> to stay here. Would we stay here again? Probably. It's very expensive, but it's packed full of amenities. It's a great place to come stay. One little small disclaimer. There's not a lot of peace and quiet around here. This is a very, very busy place. It's awesome because there are tons of kids, but we're right next to the highway, right there. And we're only like a mile from downtown Old Orchard Beach. So it's a very heavy traffic area and they're on vacation. It's a happening place, but it's never really quiet here. It, the noise starts at about 8 a.m. and goes till midnight every night. Not a bad thing, but just know if you come here, that's what you're getting. This is a place you come to stay here. You don't come here for peace and quiet. You come here for the experience, and we've had a great experience, but it's a very, very busy place. They're here for summer vacation. They're not here to get a lot of sleep. Well, 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 I believe we have a champion. And it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, champion. Do a champion dance. Woo! <laughs> Enjoy. I'd like, to, I'd like to thank all my sponsors for this opportunity to win this game today. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, babe, because I'm coming for you. Welcome back to our last day here in Old Orchard Beach. We were going to go to the beach, but the weather is not so great. It's not cold out, but it's not beautiful and sunny. So we decided we're going to hang out here and uh, pick up all our messes. You can see our kids have had lots of friends here. We've had lots of mess this time, which means we've been having fun. Instead of going to the beach on our last day here, we decided to hang out and enjoy the festivities here. We have a fire going. There's actually a live band about to start playing. He's warming up now. Kate's been dancing to him. And we're gonna spend the rest of the evening enjoying the RV camping plus the live music. And we gotta start packing up because tomorrow is our last day here and we got to get on the road. So we're almost done picking up everything out here, but we're parked underneath these trees right here. So I'm gonna head up there and use my new leaf blower to blow off the top of my RV. So it's a good thing I came up here because there's tons of leaves. Look at all these leaves from being parked up here. Well, check out this new leaf blower. How's that new leaf blower working? It's working awesome. If y'all want it, I'm gonna link it in the description below so you can get one for yourself. All right, now that the roof's clean, there's only a few things left to pick up and it's time to cook some hot dogs on the campfire, listen to some live music, enjoy our last night here at Sun Outdoors, Old Orchard Beach. So we got just about everything picked up. The truck's sort of picked up, the basement's picked up, the toy hauler's done, 
The rugs are still out because underneath it's dirt and we don't want to track it in because right now it's starting to rain. Well, it's not rain, it's a mist. Does this every day up here. It's like just enough to get everything sort of wet, but not really wet. And now the band is starting to play. So we're gonna go check them out. Awesome evening here at the campground. The band is awesome. We had hot dogs on the fire. You can see people are still enjoying the band. They're taking a small break now. I will give it to the people from Maine. You guys will not let rain stop you from having a good time. I guess if you did, you never go outside because it always rains here. Maybe that's not normal, but since we've been here, it's literally rained every day. But you guys never let the rain stop you from having a good time. That's gonna be a wrap here on Old Orchard Beach. See you guys in the next one.